To begin balancing this equation, we have AgNO3 plus Na3PO4. Let's count the atoms up on each side of the equation. So we have Ag1, and then I've got an NO3 here, as well as an NO3 over here. So I'm just going to call the NO3 one item, and that'll keep me from having to count up all these different oxygen atoms and so on. Sodiums, I have three, and then again, PO4. I have a PO4 here, and I have one over here. So I'm just going to call that one item. Over on the product side, I have three AGs. I have NO3s, I just have one of those. Sodiums, I have one of those. And then again, this phosphate ion, PO4, one of those. It looks like I could start by putting a three as my coefficient in front of AgNO3, because I have three here on the product and only one on the reactant. So I could say one times three, that give me three AGs, those would, would be balanced. And then this three applies to everything. So I have this NO3 here and I have three of those. One times three, that gives me three NO3s. So we fixed the AGs, but the NO3 is a problem. Let's leave that for a second. Let's fix these sodiums here. I have three here and one here. I'll put a coefficient of three in front of the NaNO3. Now I have one times three. That gives me three sodium atoms. Those are balanced. And this three applies to everything again, right? So I have one NO3 here times three. And that gives me three of those. And when I do that, the equation is balanced. And that's convenient when we look at these things as a nitrate ion and a phosphate ion. It makes it much quicker and much more efficient to balance. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for AgNO3 plus Na3PO4, that's silver nitrate and sodium phosphate. Thanks for watching.